What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And we're looking over here at solving quadratic equations. So with that said, you know, this is something we haven't done much of and we gotta make sure we know the mechanics behind this to make sure we're good to go. So one of the prerequisites here that you're gonna wanna make sure you solidify your confidence with is really gonna be factoring polynomials. All right, so if you're not good at factoring polynomials or if you feel like you need more experience in that, I would definitely make it a point to understand factoring polynomials just a little more. But I'm gonna show you how to tackle a problem like this, but this is not the only type of problem. So what I need you to do is if you like how I solved this problem, make sure to like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel, but make sure to comment on it, letting me know what you think, because if you like this video, I'll go ahead and make the other versions of these types of questions. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started here. We have x squared minus 12x plus 32 equals zero. Now here's the thing, when it comes to solving quadratic equations, typically you want a zero on that right side or left side or by itself, pretty much. You're gonna want it by itself because what you're gonna do is, right over here, you're gonna go ahead and factor this polynomial and you're gonna solve. So let me just take you through the first step here. Let me just show you how to factor this and then I'm gonna show you why factoring leads to the automatic answer right away. So we have x squared minus 12x plus 32. So if you remember from one of my previous lessons or videos, factoring polynomials goes a little like this. When you have nothing with the x squared, you really just pay attention to that number by itself, that 32. So what you're gonna ask yourself is this, you're gonna find the factors of 32 that add up to negative 12. Again, you're gonna find the factors of 32 that add to negative 12. So here, 32, we can have one times 32, Neither of those, you know, you, you can't have the negative versions or positive versions to add up to a negative 12. That's not going to work. Well, let's try out 2 and 16. 2 times 16 is 32. Can I subtract negative 2 and subtract the 16 from there to get negative 12? No. Okay. Well, 3 doesn't work. 4 and 8 would work. I know that 4 plus 8 is 12 and negative 4 plus a negative 8 That'll give me negative 12. Remember, what's the rule again for solving polynomials, for, for factoring them? Well, remember, it's going to be, what are the numbers that multiply to this last number that add to the middle number? If I have both negatives, but well, what's going to happen is a negative 4 times a negative 8, that's going to be a positive 32, and then negative 4 minus 8, negative 12. So we can turn this thing right here entirely into x minus 4, x minus 8, and that still equals zero. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet, my part of people. A lot of you may be looking at this and say, oh yeah, for sure, we're gonna have B as the answer. Uh, no, not the case. <laughs> not the case at all, because you need to make sure that you actually solve the equation. So here's what I'm gonna do next. Look at what you got here. You have this whole polynomial thingy times this whole thingy over here. That's gonna give you zero. So again, let me just remind you, uh, what operation are we dealing with? Multiplication. We're dealing with multiplication. And so what that means about part of people is, well, if you're multiplying numbers together and the result is zero, one of these numbers has to be zero, right? Because think about it. If I had, let's say zero times whatever this is, it doesn't matter, it's gonna equal zero. And if you flip it, if you flip it around, if you have whatever here times this being zero, well, anything times zero is still gonna be zero. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is that you're gonna to have to apply this thing called the zero product property, okay? So here's what I mean. What I just said was this, and I hope this makes intuitive sense. What I'm saying is, if this whole thing equals zero, this x minus four, if that was zero, zero times whatever this is is still gonna be zero. Likewise, if x minus eight was equal to zero, well, whatever that is, times whatever this is, zero times whatever is still zero. So what I can do, is I can separate this and see what would make the x minus four zero because if that's zero, the whole thing is zero and that's a true equation. And on the flip side, we gotta go ahead and find what makes x minus eight equal to zero as well. Because again, once I plug in that value, then we'll have this being zero and the whole thing is still zero. So with that said, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and just easily add four to both sides right here and we'll get x equals positive four, add eight to both sides here, and we end up getting x equals positive eight. And those are our answers, my part of people. We're gonna have x 
equals four and x equals eight. And that's gonna be the answer here, but don't leave just yet. Because remember, this is just one of the many different ways that quadratic equations can appear when you're preparing for the ASVAB. So there are plenty more examples. So like I said, like this video, comment if you liked it, comment what your favorite part was, comment what you learned, because if we get enough of engagement with this video, I will happily make a video for all of the other ones. And so with that said, my Porter people, if you do have questions about the ASVAB, if you need help at all, then feel free to go ahead and shoot me a text about my free resources and my full program. I've got plenty of resources to help you out. If you've tried studying on your own at this point and you're just not quite sure if you need that extra bit of help or that personalized approach, there's my number. 567-698-8867. Feel free to text me right now. I'm Coach Anderson, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. That way, I can help you get the score you want and that job you deserve. So keep sharing our materials. That way, you can help somebody else in need. And let's get to it. Let's ace the ASVAB, and I will see you in the next video.